Welcome! So today I'm going to share with you a controversial an unpopular opinion, which is why I don't vote, why I don't think it's productive to vote. But first, I'm going to do a spin, even though I've got a wired microphone. Woo! Okay, let's go. Here's why. Here's why. So I hold multiple nationalities and I have voted twice in England and twice in Italy. And I haven't voted in a long time and I don't think I will for a while. I may change my mind. But here's why I think that voting is irrelevant and it's not productive and why I don't vote. Two reasons. Number one, I think that the democratic process, what happens is that you go vote maybe every four years, every five years, and what you do is you vote for a specific party, you vote for a specific face, but really the process behind it is pretty much the same. And I will explain why in the second point. But what happens is that when you go vote, you accept part of the responsibility. You become part of the process, and even though you have zero power, you have no authority, you still accept responsibility because you go and you say, I have voted, therefore I partially accept some responsibility from the consequences of whatever the government in power does. And that feeling makes it a lot more difficult for you to rebel, for you to actually say, you know what, this is not serving me, this is not for me, whatever. Therefore, it keeps everything a lot more quiet because instead of thinking that there is someone, a specific person or a specific party, a specific kind of government that is oppressing you, that is doing things against you, no, you are part of it. You become part of the process, you accept part of the responsibility and that really diffuses, it disarms any real um, any real power from your side to rebel. The first is this, that I don't want to take responsibility for something that I have no power on. If you give me power, you give me authority, then I accept responsibility because I can make my own choices and I want to be responsible of my choices. But if I'm not part of the process, I don't want to have the responsibility because that way is just a cop out to silence me. That's reason number one why I don't vote. Reason number two is that I think voting is irrelevant. If you go in every four or five years, loads up in the meantime, and really the government is pretty much the same. You can change the party, you can change the face, but really the lobbies, the dynamics of power behind it are pretty much the same. And the reason why that is, is that we actually vote every day. And the way we vote daily is with our wallet, with cash. When we spend money, we tell the government to focus on a specific sector, a specific industry, on a specific service. If everyone buys cars, the government is going to invest on roads, it's going to invest on motorways, they're going to invest on that kind of, in of infrastructure. Why? Well, because that way people can buy more cars, they can buy more petrol, they can use more motorways, and the government can tax you three times. So the government is going to focus on that. Therefore, the way I spend my money actually tells the government want to, uh, want to focus on what's important for me. But the reason why this is actually really unpopular is that that means that my vote is less valuable than someone else's vote just because maybe they can spend more money than me. They can influence the government more than me. And it also means that companies have a vote and their vote is worth a hundred times, 10,000 times, a billion times that of an individual. And to say that Apple has more influence on the democratic process, has more influence on the government, that big corporations actually have a vote and their vote is a lot more important because it shifts the balance of power, because it really tells the government where taxes are going to be. They control such a big chunk of the economy that they can take away a lot of taxes from the government. Their vote really matters, their economic vote really matters to the government. And to say that is really unpopular because it tells people that the democratic process and, and society and life is unfair. Life is unfair though. That's the reality of it. And so what happens in order to hide that and to make it look fair so everyone gets handed out a vote every four to five years, which has very little value and actually gives you responsibility. So it actually disempowers you. That's my view. And so the best thing that you can do, instead of spending your time, wasting your resources and your, and your time and your energy looking at the news, getting angry because of one party or the other party, when really the lobbies are the same, really the interests are the same, really the influences are the same, instead of wasting that time on things that you can't control, things that are outside of your influence, well, a better way to vote is to focus on yourself, focus on your life, change it, upgrade it, create a business that makes more money, play the game to your favor, 
And that way, your vote is going to matter more. Not only that, but you're going to change your reality instead of waiting for someone else who has a very different interest than yours to change your life. Stop wasting time on the news. Stop thinking that one party is going to change your life and the other one's going to ruin it or the other way around. It doesn't matter. Focus on what you can do. Focus on your life. Upgrade it every day. Show up every day. Next year, your life's going to look different. Not in four years. Not when the right party is going to be voted in and then they're going to lie to you and they're going to change what you expect and do the opposite. No, it's going to change every single day. Why? Because you've showed up, you voted for yourself and you've changed your life one bit at a time.